time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live. Today is Tuesday, April 16th. VIX is down 6.5%, just under 18. S&P, pretty unchanged. NASDAQ, slightly green. Russell, slightly red. Dow, a little bit green. Gold up 1%. Silver down 1%. Uh, notes and bonds, a little bit red. 10-year yield up a half percent. Oil, unchanged. Natural gas up 35 Grains, red, euro and the pound, pretty flat. Bitcoin, slightly red. A lot of Fed speakers and Jay Powell, and then premium got crushed. And we haven't really moved much, except for those little dog and pony dances. Uh, so, so let's see. For today... Uh, so I disabled the bot on my rut hedge. I'll go over what I did there. Uh, but that's, a, that's a winner. Uh, I did a discretionary one DTE trade. Didn't do it right at the open. I did it after we had that initial flush. So about 20 minutes in, just did a couple contracts discretionary that hit 45%. Uh, all of my quiet tranches hit 35%. I'm um, still in Rick. It's not doing so hot. NDX is looking good so far. Put on a new red hedge. Uh, just entered my quad 1DTE, quad 40, and then the uh, Wuga. And we're bouncing again. Yeah, these these uh, 30 and 40 point moves in 20 minutes are tough. I mean, I'm lucky to be green, honestly. Yeah, oh, I did. I did do one price action trade. Sixty um, or six lots hit twenty, forty, and eighty. So I am. Uh, I'm up about si about six, and then depending on what happens with uh, Rick, I wouldn't be surprised if there's just some wild price movement here at the end, based on what's going on today. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I anticipate. Just because I mean, a just, lot of times the market after after Jay Powell speaks for whatever reason, it's kind of a delayed delayed move. So I'm just sticking with Wuga for Power Hour. Yeah, I'm uh, out of my lunchtime number one, AM number one. I got out of twenty percent of Power Hour number uh, one, but now it's getting close to being stopped this if this push up doesn't stop and i i put on a power hour number 2 cuz i was off centered a little bit but um with my power hour number 1 and it also needs a pullback hey i um book Booked some quick profits there after JP was done, though. Yeah, that was a nice crush. And then, but then, it, then it took off, and I, most a lot of people didn't survive that push up. I luckily survived it because I had a fifty-five point wide iron condor. Um, but I love the high IV. I don't like the forty points moves in. 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Chris, I am on the 70, 60s and the 50, 40s for Wuga.
my Rick needs needs to move. Needs to get above 5081 to the upside or below 5030 to the downside. I think either still in play, to be honest. <laughs> Not counting Rick out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Never count Rick out. Uh, you don't know which way it's going to go. Is it going to go up or down? Or discount. We could hit profits in Wooga, and then Rick can rip. And we can profit on both. been a while since i've seen a 40 point move up and a 40 point move down in that short of time i kind of thought after that push up and then head fake. Yeah. I we were I thought we were done. I thought we were look out below. But and then she bounced right back. AMC up 13%. Up to a whopping $2.80. SMCI up 7%. All the chips up. AMD, NVIDIA. On the red side, DJT falling off a cliff. Coinbase down three. Need a pullback. Uh, Dark Avenger, are you on here? I saw your so I saw your question on the uh, on the VXX vertical on the May third one. Obviously, implied volatility has spiked since we put that on. So I haven't decided exactly when I'm going to take that off yet. I mean, we're obviously getting a big contraction today, four and a half percent in VXX. If it gets down to, I mean, if it gets profitable, I'll probably just take that one off. The other one will be at fifty percent of max profit at that point as well. And on the flip side, and if stop. that doesn't happen, if we do, if we spike, I'm just going to have to decide when to cut losses on that. So I haven't, haven't hundred percent decided on, on that. I want to, I want to give it time in case this little flush on stocks is over, but I don't want to take a max loss on it either. So we'll see. And I was stopped on power hour number one. I almost just didn't even take a power hour trade because I just didn't like the price movement. It's been all over the place. Yeah, I mean it, it's kind of it's kind of acting like post FOMC, right? Like after J Pal speaks. Yeah, it's not just to the same extent, but.
Mauro, are you on here? There he is. Guess what I did, my friend? Guess what I did? <laughs> I opened up an interactive brokers account. <laughs> I'm going to do a little dabbling with tat. Um, I want to, well, Hey, I just, I needed, I needed in quotes, I needed another account to, uh, to just do some like test trades and things to free up some strikes. And so I was like, yeah, you know what, let's, let's, uh, let's do a little IB account and, and, and utilize tat with it. So I've been, I've been going through the tat documentation and setting up some templates and stuff and. Definitely no trade steward, but it is, um, there is some cool stuff I like about it too. Oh, I was going to show you guys what I did on my rut. So here is, here's my rut 1DTE hedge that I put on yesterday. So we were, we were down here and I, uh, you know, basically at the, uh, what is that? The 1960, 70. Yeah. My short put strike, my lower put strike. Um, and I was like, man, this thing could, you know, we started to bounce as this, this thing could rip, but I want to end back up in the Valley. So instead I could have closed it for like 16 or $1,700, but instead of doing that, I just, um, so, I, so this hedge is essentially a, your, I, I bought a, iron fly right so what i did is instead of closing it i just i sold an iron condor against it got filled at 40 dollar credit and so now i have this so essentially i locked in a profit of 1655 and if it pushes above basically 1972 I can make up to, and it expires up there. I can make up to 2,155. So I gave up a little bit of profit to the downside. So if this thing just falls and, and expires up here, I would have made 2,155. So I, I'm, I'm giving that up, but I'm taking away all this risk if we bounce by doing that. And so that's what it looks like. Right there. So I've got a, I've got a few different little transforming kind of things that I've been working on kind of along the lines of the Mahomes deal, kind of like along the lines of, of what I just did here that I'll be uh, showing in more detail here at some point. Oh yeah, and then the other, the, actually, probably the main reason I opened up that IB account was I've got a, I've got a good friend who has built some automated stuff around not using TAD. It's kind of the, uh, their own automated system, uh, kind of like their own version of TAT, and then they've done all kinds of different things with it, and so. Uh, I'm going to 
I'm going to utilize that here at some point. I'll, I'll tell you guys more about it once I, once I know more. I really don't know much about it yet. Hit 20%, my power hour number two. Yeah, that's what this guy did, Marl. He knows the uh, IB API inside out. So I did, I did my, I did my Wooga in my IB account and then I forgot to disable my trade steward bot and it fired, but it only filled one contract. And then I guess it didn't get filled on the rest. So it was trying to cancel and replace. And then it had some, um, some strike conflict. So I only got filled in one here, but I've got four, I did a four lot in my IB account. So the at the money 5070 fly currently trading for maybe 65 cents, maybe less. Some wild swings, but a pretty tight little range. I mean, look at that daily chart, especially compared to the last couple. It's been nothing. Uh, discount, I don't really know exactly what I like about TAT completely yet. Just going through the, I'm just, I'm just now starting to set up some templates, but just some of the, I guess some of the logic makes sense. So the expected move on the option chain, yeah, it's showing about 16 Wuga, but I always, for the zero day, I, I always refer more to this market maker move here, which is plus or minus 12, because you'll notice there's always a few points left even at the end of the day once we expire. So this is actually a little bit more accurate when you get down to this point. Yeah, that market maker move, it's basically the it I I used to always use it for earnings plays because it was it's basically the end of the current ex expiration or if, or if I'm doing earnings the night before that was that was kind of the expected move cuz you know, if you're trading a stock for example that doesn't have everyday expirations like look at apple for example you know you've got 
the three day options and it has the expected move for that, but this is the one day expected move. And then it works for SPX zero, zero DTE as well. And there's 40% power hour number two. Nice. Little that little pullback helped you. Yep. My dead center is about fifty sixty five. Remarkably, I've got a really nice green day going. Two winners, one loser. My loser's pretty much scratch trade, minus 300. That's the one I got lucky on. Yeah, as soon as uh, Powell got done speaking and we had that push right there, I hit six profit targets i hit my five quiet lunches wow. and my remaining price action iron condor just like boom 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 wow that had to feel nice I'd be very happy if it just sat where it's at. I don't think I'm going to put on a third. Come on. on trade. Man, that'd I'm be getting scared. pretty greedy. <laughs> that would be getting pretty greedy, I think. You can do, you can still do 15, 15 wide. It's true. I can still wipe my good profit loss too. I just talked myself into it. I'm going to do a little tranche too. Oh yeah. Which one are you doing? I'm going to do the eighties. I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do the eighties and the 55s, 10, 25 wide. No. Now let's see. Fifteen wide, <clears throat> seventy five sixties. Six seventy five. 
Yeah, I've been doing my price action ones with my toss order templates instead of bots just because it gives me those longs, a little bit of long protection. If we have a move, I get stopped out and it keeps going. That's the one thing I don't like about the bots is they take the longs away. All right, I did it. Same thing. Unless you do two bots with just the longs and just the shorts, but I haven't done that. No, you can't, uh, Dave S. Yep, only the bid list, exactly. All right, so I did my Wooga in the IB account. Now I got to figure out how to close that trade. I haven't gotten that far with IB yet, so that's probably something I should figure out. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's see, where's my position at exactly? <laughs> I did a I did a B and B one one two DTE in there as well. I see that one on my let's see. You Mauro, do you use the classic view or the mosaic? Classic, okay. That's what I'm on. Okay, so so here's Yeah, so this is my one two DTE. Okay, so that's from an API from TAT. So where do I find my current position? Here it is on the option, option trader. There we go. Okay. Okay. So it's this one here. Yeah. So right click. Trade, close.
right click Sixty percent power hour number one. Um, okay, so I'm on my portfolio, right? This is where I want to be. Let's right click on this. Okay, let's get that out of there. Create a new tab. Current positions. And just hit OK. Okay, go to my portfolio. Copy. Paste. Okay, right click, order entry, no, <laughs> like a child, <laughs> you have to treat me like a child. <laughs> I feel like a child dealing with this software. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll get rid of this. This is the wrong thing, apparently. Oh, 20% on my power hour. Really? I have not hit it yet. I have a little bit. I'm a little bit different. Well, I, didn't, I didn't enter this one on my API, so that... Wouldn't be it. This is a this is a this is a double calendar that I'm looking at, and that's what's on the API. Oh, gotcha. I got a little push up. I don't want this thing taking off at all. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Okay, here's Mosaic. Okay, so this is it right here. It's the 75, 65s, 50, 40s. Uh, that's too much. Hang on. Stay where you're at. All right, so so let's start over. All right, so I'm in the classic TWS current positions, but that's my double calendar. How do I get my Wooga? Delete this, okay? Cut. All right, it's gone. Then in Mosaic, okay, this is this is it right here. Okay, monitor. 
I don't have a monitor. Oh. Portfolio. Monitor. Come on back down, little boy. Come back down. <laughs> I command you to it? come down. That's not it. It's this one. Yes. Okay. This is it. Copy. I'm sure this is just exhilarating for everyone. Uh, all right. Then I go back to classic. Paste. Boom. <laughs> Thanks, JT. Be more hey, boom. tomorrow. There's, thank, there's, thank you, guys. There's All my right, so now, So I'm down 180 bucks on the Wooga right now. So to close it, I'm going to right click and trade. Close 100%. Pick my limit price. Transmit. Get back Got down it. there. Okay. Woo! That was exhausting. God bless you, IV users. <laughs> Would you open one up for? Uh, I don't know if you didn't hear me earlier. I basically I've got a I guy who's why. doing created some automated strategies around oh, okay. that connects to IB, and then I wanted I wanted to try out their trade automation toolbox, which is a kind of a bot trading platform. Gotcha. That's high enough. All right. So one more question here. So I got, where do I see where I got filled? Average trade price. So I got filled at 540. So 270 would be my I got to do a negative number, I guess. Sell at 270. All right, I got my 50% profit target in there. All right, I think I'm good. Trade history. Uh, okay. I see. Got it. All right, my forty percent is at four dollars and it's trading at four seventy five. That is a good boy. NDX is currently sitting pretty.
Oh, I got a camera or I got a picture on your property just now. What? The wind blew my, blew my, uh, the wind blew my, uh, blind over. Oh, no. Can you go? Can you fix that tonight? I would. Well, I've got baseball if it, if it's not going to rain, but, um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I get down there. And he's restaked. Yeah, I need a dime to go 80% now out of power hour two. And money fill. fly trading for about 60, 70, 80 cents. I am out of power hour number two at 80% and out. Nice. Where's the woog at? Uh, you had to ask that. I got to get back and remember how to look at that again. It's up 379 bucks. There you go. Yep, I got that on Cody. It is currently slightly green. A little Ooh. down move here. Yeah, that's it's far enough. We don't need any more down moves like that. That's far enough. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen one way or the other. Whoa, Thiago, you're hit 50%. Wow, what a move. All right, so I got stopped out of the rest of my power hour. Yep, I got stopped as well. It wiped a bunch of profits. Wow. You just can't have nice things, I guess. Stopped out of everything. Diago, do you put your, I assume you put yours on earlier, right? I had to guess probably right around 2.30 Eastern. Two 
3240. Like it came down and stopped me out and then bounced. It's truly amazing. Two thirty two, there you go. NDX is sitting pretty. Nice and centered. We are just back and forth, red to green, red to green today. Yeah. I mean, it's right around the unchanged level. Man, it would have been so nice just to stay where it was. Need about 50 more cents out of Wooga. A little over 20 minutes to go. And Israel reportedly finalizes plans for counter-strike against Iran. Way to, way to let everybody know. Yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely need to do that tomorrow. I have not uh, not given the time to do that yet. Well, my Power Hour 3 ended up being a $375 loss. I thought it was going to be a big winner.
Still a very nice green day today. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have. I'm up about 60 cents on that one. It's funny. Still done, Wuga. Nice. Yeah, my order disappeared. All good on the IB front. Trade history looks good. Fifty percent, yeah. Although the one lot that got filled in trade stewards only at thirty-five, but I was on different strikes. Five minutes till MOC. <clears throat> Man, it would have been. Power would have been set in dead center when it got stopped. This little bounce up.
Board of Council. All right. Hanging around 60. Looks like it might settle in. Unless we have a big MOC number, Rick is probably toast. We now have no more positions on. Plus 6,540 today. And listening for MOC here in about a minute. My Wooga in Trade Steward, my one lot, still hasn't hit on the uh, 60, 70s, and 40, 50s. All right, listening for MOC number here in about 10 seconds. Eight fifty million sell side, nothing. The 65 fly is only trading for a buck 20, maybe. So, no Mahomes. So my one DTE quad 40 is at about a, a dollar profit. I'll close here in a few minutes. No love for Rick today. I had I had I had high hopes with uh, some of this movement, but 
never found a direction, just back and forth. Oh, my one, two, and my one, three are up over 10%. I'm going to go ahead and close those. Closed up my Wooga for 30%, my one lot. And I just posted my one, two exit. Uh, my one, three's bouncing right around 10%. I'm going to leave that one on till tomorrow. My six, seven is up about 10%. Five, seven's up about 5%. So those will both come off tomorrow as well. My quad 40. It'll make about 6%. It'll be closing here shortly. About three minutes to go, or excuse me, five minutes to go. Build at 2025, in at 2150, at at 2025, so almost 6%. So tomorrow is Wednesday. We've got the beige book, 1 p.m. And then the two FOMC members don't speak until after the market's closed. So that was nice of them. So really not a lot going on tomorrow. 
scheduled anyway. We're going to get a quick flush, new lows of day. Scheduled missile strike. All right, two and a half minutes. Rick just needs a move down below 50 30. Just 20, 25 points. Come on down. Keep her coming. Low of day was 10 points away. We've got less than a minute. NDX and Dow still slightly green. Well, NASDAQ just turned red. Try and... Yeah, I agree. Hopefully I get a little overnight VIX pop. So get some more trades on tomorrow. There she blows. 50, 51.33. Adam Butterfly, you are a Magic Mahomes magician. Nice. All right. So tomorrow, live stream, April 17th, Wednesday. Chad will be streaming live in the morning for Mighty 90 and Runners. And we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Have a good night. Take care.